Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda, and today I'm back with my new gaming mouse. This is the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum. Now this is basically the same mouse as the previous G502, but it now has the spectrum lighting, and the blue line that was right here on this little thumb rest is now removed, and it's just a black solid design. Looks a little bit nicer to fit in more setups. Here on the front of the box, you can see it just shows some pictures. On the back, again, just some little bit of information. On the sides, it lets you know that it is compatible with Windows 10. And flipping it over to the other side, it gives us some specs. But one of the main things is the DPI goes from 200 to 12,000. I can't even perform at 12,000. That's just too fast for me. But there's some other specs here also if you guys want to check those out. So I've spent about a month with this mouse now and I am absolutely in love with it. So besides the thing looking great, it also has all these customizable buttons. There's a total of 11 buttons and you can use the Logitech software to customize it. That's also where you're going to find the controls to change the colors of your LEDs. You can either specify with the slider, you can put the custom RBG code in, or you can just select one of the preset colors. And there's all kinds of different effects that you can change here with the logo and really customize this to make it yours. You can even pair it up with your other devices and have it sync, although I do not have any other ones. They have surface tuning where you can go in and manually set what surface you're using on and all around just customize this mouse to make it fit you and your gaming needs. So once you have the software all set up the way you like it, you can also customize the weight of the mouse. It comes with five 3.6 gram weights and you just flip off this back plate. It's really simple to adjust. There's no screws and you just put them in where you like them. I prefer a heavy mouse so I have used all five of the weights. With all this black, it's kind of hard to see, but there's many different colors and textures of black to this. There's both matte and glossy, and then there's this rubber grippy finish on the edges to give you good grip ability. And in my hand, this thing feels great. Now, I have yet to completely customize all the buttons. I really need to figure out more of my games. I just got my 980 Ti installed on my PC, so I want to get a feel for all my games more before I completely switch all the buttons and figure out where I want everything and where I'm going to access them. I do really like the scroll wheel on top here. It has a button to shift between free flowing and clicky style. And I just like the overall look and design of this on my desk. However, I am not the hugest fan of wires. So I may be upgrading to the G900, which is also from Logitech, but it's a $150 mouse and you can use it either wired or wireless but yeah it's a great looking mouse and it's very expensive so if you guys want to check that out please leave a comment down below and i'll see if i can get my hands on that as well all right guys so that's all i have just a quick video with a rundown of this mouse thank you guys for watching hit that thumbs up button i'll see you in the next one